In this tutorial, I'm going to illustrate how we can use RR Studio to check if a given sample is uh, normally distributed. So I'll start by generating two samples which follow known uh, distributions. So for the first one, I'll look at um, a sample that follows a uniform uh, distribution. So in the console there, I'll type my S and I call it S1. And uh, I want random numbers that are follow a uniform distribution and I will need a hundred of them. So I will type in R and then a unif. So that's the command for hundred uniform random numbers. And I'll press uh, enter. Then for the second sample, I will generate a hundred random numbers that follow a normal distribution. So we have uh, an S2 and uh, I'll type R norm. So R norm is the one that uh, generates those that follow a normal distribution. And I'll put in the number that I want, 100 of them. So we have uh, yes, uh, two. So we have uh, those two samples. And uh, I'm now going to perform tests to check if uh, those are two samples are normally distributed. So the first uh, check that I'll perform is the QQ plot. And uh, for the QQ plot, I will type in for the first one, it's a QQ, then uh, norm, and then I will be checking for the first sample, S1, and then uh, I'll put a semicolon, QQ line. So this command will draw a straight line, and we have a QQ plot or QQ line of uh, S1. And then now uh, when I press enter, the plot will come up on the right hand uh, pen there where it says plots. So I press enter. And uh, that's the QQ plot that we have there. When a sample is uh, normally distributed, the, all those points should lie on uh, that uh, straight diagonal line there. But what we are seeing is uh, we have uh, points uh, on the left there and other points on the right there which are not uh, falling along that uh, diagonal. So in this case, uh, we can um, assume that uh, this sample is uh, not uh, normally distributed. But we can perform a further check using the Shapiro Wilk test for normality. So I will type in the command uh, Shapiro. So that's the name of the test that's coming up there. Shapiro test of uh, S1. So we perform the Shapiro wheel test for the sample S1. The now hypothesis for the Shapiro wheel test is that um, the data is normally distributed. And uh, the alternative uh, hypothesis is that uh, the data is uh, not uh, normally distributed. So if I press enter, then we get the test statistic and uh, the p-value. So that's the result of the shapiro wilk normality test. And we are having our WD 0.9459. And our p-value is uh, 0 0.0004498. In this case, what you are seeing is that uh, that p-value is uh, less than 0 0.05. So in this case, we we'll reject the now hypothesis and um, conclude that uh, we don't have sufficient evidence to say that uh, that sample is uh, from a normal distribution. The QQ plot is uh, saying is uh, the same as what the Shapiro test is giving out again, and that uh, the data that we have there is uh, not from a normal distribution. We can now go on and uh, check for the second one and for the second one that's S2. So I can just press the up arrow to bring up the commands that I entered before then I'll just edit them. So we are now checking now for sample S2. Now for sample S2 there and uh, I'll press enter because this command will plot the QQ plot for sample S2. Okay, and for sample S2 there, 
we can see that we have uh, points that are lying there on uh, that uh, diagonal line, but we have a few that are not on the diagonal. But uh, the number is uh, reduced a bit. It's not as the same as the one that we had before. We have uh, now a few observations they are not uh, lying on the straight line. But if we just have a few there, we can uh, conclude that the sample is normally distributed. But just to do a further check, we can uh, use uh, the Shapiro Wilk normality test like we did before. So we perform the Shapiro Wilk test for sample S2. So for sample S2 there, and uh, it will give us uh, a W0.98687. And our p value is uh, 0 0.4289. In this case, uh, that p value is uh, greater than uh, 0 0.05. We can uh, not uh, reject uh, H0. And uh, if we cannot reject uh, H0, what it means is um, don't have uh, sufficient evidence to say that the sample is uh, not from a uh, normal distribution. So in this case, we can assume that uh, the sample is uh, normally distributed.